essere moderni non vuol dire per forza essere semplici, assolutamente. Io giuro, io apprezzerei molto per le persone con un overdose di fantasia. La mia esperienza di ex allieva di Gianfranco Ferretti in Domus Academy nel 1986 insieme al più che decennale lavoro come consulente creativa di ricerca accanto a lui si sono nutriti effettivamente del metodo dei processi di ricerca, di elaborazione, di progettazione e eh, di previsione del risultato della missione. It was in my first year of university. I remember that a friend of mine gave me this book written by Gianfranco Ferré and it was called Lectures on Fashion. Later on I discovered that Ferré actually studied architecture before being a fashion designer and from that moment on his approach to, to forms and to the female body remains a big inspiration also in my project, in, in my work. La prima volta il designer era fashion designer, non era più sarto, quindi lo studio delle linee, dei volumi avvenivano per il suo segno grafico eh, eccezionale, quindi come per l'architettura avveniva su carta come progetto, quindi si riferisce stato il primo progettista di moda. a great designer, the key is to understand the proportion and the body of the model. And as we know, Jean van Gogh Fleury, he was the master of that. The way he presents the clothes is very unique. You cannot see it from anywhere else. The cloth is not made from one garment, but it's more about modular object. He put a lot of garments together in his own way, connect them with his hardware or his facial way to do it. to make these women look stunning, impressive and really strong. He made them look iconic and this is probably what I want to achieve. He used to take the fabric and like test it around the dress form and see how it uh, molds around it drapes around it. And that is something which I also do and which I have grown up learning. In una sua pubblicazione, nella pubblicazione preziosa lettera a Jean Couturier, afferma bisogna possedere una formula interiore, un modo di esprimersi, di analizzare, ovvero bisogna formare la propria disciplina. Io penso che effettivamente ciò che Ferre può trasmettere è creatività come metodo e impostazione di una disciplina. Quindi Ferre ha impostato tale disciplina come ricerca, eh, soprattutto come metodo eh, prassi e azione in progress all'interno del percorso tra creatività, progetto, prodotto. understood how I could have started creating something really extraordinary just for, from a single garment and how a single garment could be translated into thousands of different options and um, how you can create a new world around the woman body still having an expression of her femininity at the core of your work. The most impressive aspect of Gianfranco Ferrer's work for me was the ability to uh, make something co so complicated look uh, so easy and immediate. And for me as a designer, this is a goal I want to reach also for the future. He was able to 
take the materials and basically turn them into something even more precious than they were before. Era molta uh, disponibilità nei confronti dei giovani. Cioè lui lavorava in mezzo a loro, cioè il tavolo suo di lavoro era quello dell'ufficio stile. Questo era il suo modo anche per trasmettere direttamente il suo sapere, cioè far vedere come faceva e cosa faceva e non dare soltanto ordini. Quello che lui sapeva, quello, il modo con cui lui faceva delle cose voleva che fosse condiviso e quindi era una forma di insegnamento. The 1986 collections uh, represented the Japanese garments. I could relate to the fact that it's very struggling a lot all over the world. And me, like, I've lived in um, a few different countries throughout the past like six years. So I try to have the same vision that he had in terms of like the cultural influences basically gave me like a confidence that I was able to also express myself through my collection. The collection which was really meaningful to me was the collection of 2002, the Women's Square Collection Spring Summer. It was inspired by India and I remember there were all these like really white shapes and it was really like natural falls and really reduced in terms of colors, so this made me like, use a lot of white and work on easy silhouettes and really inspired me for my designs. When I saw the collection, 2001 collection, which was inspired from African travels, Naomi Campbell wore uh, only, only jewelry on her body, so which was as something really new and different for the time. It was sensual, it was subversive at the same time, and I think it was at that point of time where those new references also started taking place. Gianfranco Ferre heritage is more alive than ever, and fashion designers have an immense beautiful tool to build upon it their own manifesto, their own identity, their own uh, philosophy for fashion design.